What if the very fabric of our universe is made up of tiny vibrating strings? Or perhaps, we live in a never-ending cycle of cosmic rebirths. Join us as we delve into the mind-bending theories of string theory and conformal cyclic cosmology. Welcome back to our channel for unraveling the mysteries of the universe. Today, we're diving into two revolutionary theories in modern physics that aim to explain the fundamental nature of our reality. String theory and Roger Penrose's conformal cyclic cosmology, or CCC theory. These theories offer unique perspectives on the universe's fundamental forces and particles, each with its own set of strengths and complexities. Let's explore the fascinating world of these groundbreaking ideas. For centuries, humanity has been captivated by the mysteries of the cosmos. From ancient civilizations gazing at the stars to today's advanced scientific endeavors. Our desire to understand the true nature of reality has never waned. In the realm of modern physics, two theories stand out, string theory and Roger Penrose's conformal cyclic cosmology, CCC. String theory seeks to unify the universe's fundamental forces and particles by positing that the basic building blocks of reality are not point-like particles, but tiny vibrating strings. These strings oscillate at different frequencies, giving rise to various particles and interactions we observe. Emerging in the late 20th century, string theory attempts to reconcile general relativity, which explains gravity on a cosmic scale, with quantum mechanics, which deals with subatomic particles. One of the most remarkable features of string theory is its integration of gravity into its framework. Unlike other quantum field theories, string theory incorporates gravitational force directly into its equations, representing a significant departure from previous attempts to unify quantum mechanics in gravity. This seamless integration has garnered substantial attention in the scientific community. String theory introduces the concept of different string vibrational modes, each corresponding to different types of particles. For instance, particles like quarks, electrons, and photons, which constitute the standard model of particle physics, can be interpreted as distinct vibrational states of these fundamental strings. This unique approach offers a unified perspective on the fundamental forces of the universe. However, not everyone is convinced. Renowned British mathematician and Nobel Prize laureate Sir Roger Penrose has expressed skepticism about string theory. He argues that a fundamental theory of physics should generate testable predictions that can be verified through experiments. According to Penrose, string theory, despite its mathematical elegance, lacks predictive power and empirical testability. Penrose also raises concerns about the vast landscape of possible solutions in string theory, which makes it challenging to pinpoint a unique prediction that sets it apart from other scientific frameworks. This lack of specificity diminishes the theory's scientific value, in his view. Penrose offers an alternative cosmological model known as Conformal Cyclic Cosmology CCC. Unlike the widely accepted inflationary Big Bang theory, CCC proposes that the universe experiences an endless series of cycles, each initiated by a Big Bang and seamlessly transitioning into the next without a singularity or a big crunch. At the heart of CCC is conformal geometry, a mathematical transformation that maintains angles while altering distances. This transformation preserves information and structures from one eon, passing them to subsequent eons, creating a cyclical pattern in the universe's evolution. Penrose's model avoids the concept of an ultimate big crunch singularity and offers a fresh perspective on the universe's destiny. Penrose's skepticism extends to the existence of dark matter, proposing that some gravitational anomalies attributed to dark matter may result from the cumulative influence of gravitational radiation emitted by distant massive objects over cosmic timescales. Dark matter, an elusive and invisible substance, is thought to make up about 27% of the universe's mass energy content. With its gravitational effects observable in the rotation curves of galaxies, the cosmic microwave background, and the large-scale structure of the universe. Despite its significant role in contemporary cosmological models, dark matter remains undetected by direct means, posing a challenge for physicists and astronomers alike. Penrose's alternative explanation hinges on the idea that gravitational radiation, a form of energy carried by gravitational waves, could account for the observed gravitational anomalies. Gravitational waves are ripples in spacetime caused by accelerated masses, such as merging black holes or neutron stars. These waves propagate outward at the speed of light, carrying energy away from their source. According to Penrose, over vast cosmic timescales, the cumulative effect of gravitational radiation 
from numerous distant massive objects could mimic the gravitational influence attributed to dark matter. This hypothesis draws attention to the complexities of gravitational radiation and its potential impact on cosmic dynamics. Gravitational waves, first directly detected by the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO, in 2015, have opened new avenues for understanding the universe. The detection of these waves confirmed a major prediction of Einstein's general theory of relativity, providing a new tool for observing cosmic events. Penrose's proposal suggests that the continuous emission of gravitational waves from countless massive objects throughout the universe could create a background effect, subtly altering the gravitational landscape over time. In Penrose's view, the interactions between these gravitational waves and ordinary matter could lead to observable phenomena currently attributed to dark matter. For example, the unexpected rotation curves of galaxies, where the outer stars rotate faster than can be accounted for by visible matter alone, might be explained by the influence of accumulated gravitational radiation rather than an unseen dark matter halo. This interpretation challenges the conventional dark matter paradigm, offering an intriguing alternative that aligns with known physical processes. Moreover, Penrose's skepticism about dark matter extends to its elusive nature. Despite extensive efforts, direct detection experiments have yet to find conclusive evidence of dark matter particles. These experiments, such as those conducted deep underground or in space, aim to detect weakly interacting massive particles, WIMPs, one of the leading dark matter candidates. However, the lack of definitive results has fueled debates within the scientific community about the true nature of dark matter. Penrose's gravitational radiation hypothesis also intersects with his broader views on cosmology, particularly his conformal cyclic cosmology CCC, theory. CCC suggests that the universe undergoes endless cycles of expansion and contraction, with each cycle or eon transitioning smoothly into the next. In this model, gravitational radiation plays a crucial role in transferring information and structures across eons. Penrose argues that the remnants of gravitational radiation from previous eons could contribute to the current universe's gravitational anomalies providing a cosmic context for his alternative to dark matter. Critics of Penrose's hypothesis point out the challenges in quantifying the cumulative effects of gravitational radiation and distinguishing them from other gravitational influences. The current understanding of gravitational waves, while advanced, is still in its early stages, with many questions about their long-term impact on cosmic structures remaining unanswered. Additionally, the mathematical complexity of modeling such interactions over cosmic timescales presents significant challenges. In conclusion, Penrose's skepticism regarding dark matter and his proposal that gravitational anomalies could result from the cumulative influence of gravitational radiation offer a thought-provoking perspective on one of the most significant mysteries in modern cosmology. While the conventional dark matter paradigm remains the dominant explanation, Penrose's alternative hypothesis underscores the importance of exploring diverse ideas in the quest to unravel the universe's secrets. As gravitational wave astronomy continues to advance, it may provide new insights into these intriguing possibilities, potentially reshaping our understanding of the cosmos. Choosing between string theory and Penrose's CCC theory often boils down to personal and philosophical preferences. String theory appeals to those who value mathematical elegance and unifying fundamental forces. While CCC theory attracts those who seek a more intuitive geometric approach and wish to avoid cosmic singularities, the ongoing debate between these theories highlights the diversity of thought in the scientific community. While we lack conclusive experimental support for either theory, scientists continue to research and test these frameworks. The quest to understand the universe remains an ongoing journey, with answers just out of reach. Thank you for watching another episode of our channel. If you enjoyed this exploration of the cosmos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos. Until next time, keep looking to the stars.